High above Earth, orbiting silently in the darkness, sits a network of telescopes and detection systems designed to monitor the skies for threats. Among them is ATLAS, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Built to scan the heavens for potentially hazardous asteroids, ATLAS operates from observatories in Hawaii, South Africa, and Chile, constantly watching, recording, and analyzing faint streaks of light against the night sky. It was created for one reason only, to give humanity an early warning if something dangerous is coming. And in late August, something unusual happened. For weeks, Atlas's sensors had been returning routine data. Small asteroids passing harmlessly by Earth, meteor trails, and cosmic dust. But then, 31-slash-Atlas, one of the cataloged objects tracked by the system, suddenly produced a signal that no one expected. Unlike a simple visual observation, this time the instruments detected something that looked like a radio transmission, structured, pulsed, and carrying a repeating pattern. This wasn't ordinary background noise. It wasn't the usual static of space. It was deliberate, organized, and strangely powerful. At first, astronomers thought it might be a glitch, perhaps interference from Earth or a satellite in orbit. But after careful analysis, the signal source was confirmed. It originated from the direction of asteroid 31-slash-Atlas, a near-Earth object once thought to be nothing more than a harmless rock. The data shook scientists to their core. Atlas isn't designed to receive signals. It only observes. Yet here was undeniable evidence that something associated with 31-slash-Atlas was transmitting directly toward Earth. The scientific community scrambled. Could it be a reflected of our own radio noise bouncing back strangely? Or had 31-slash-Atlas revealed itself to be something entirely different, not just a rock, but something far more advanced? And then came the chilling question, if it was indeed a transmission, what was it trying to say? When Atlas confirmed the signal's origin, the data was immediately shared with NASA, the European Space Agency, and several independent research groups. For weeks, supercomputers worked around the clock to filter the noise and extract meaning. What they found was enough to silence even the loudest skeptics. The transmission wasn't random. It carried a series of repeating numeric sequences, prime numbers, geometric ratios, and harmonic frequencies. In other words, it was mathematical language, the kind scientists have long theorized would be used by intelligent civilizations to communicate across the stars. But this wasn't just a test pattern. Hidden inside the signal were coded warnings, fluctuations that mapped out orbital trajectories, impact simulations, and energy levels. When plotted on a screen, the data formed a horrifying picture. Earth itself, shown alongside a series of projected collision points. It appeared that 31-slash-Atlas, or whatever intelligence was behind it, was sending us a message. Something dangerous was on a direct path toward Earth. Some experts argued it could be a natural asteroid impact warning, like a cosmic alarm system left behind by an ancient civilization. Others feared the opposite, that it was a deliberate threat, a countdown, or even a psychological test. The most disturbing part came when scientists compared the signal's orbital projections with existing asteroid databases. They found a chilling match, a cluster of near-Earth asteroids, many of which were scheduled to pass uncomfortably close in the next two decades. The data suggested that one or more of these objects might already be on a collision course with Earth. Governments held emergency meetings. Intelligence agencies demanded secrecy, worried about public panic. 
and yet the leak spread online. Whispers of a mysterious transmission linked to Atlas, warnings of an unavoidable event, and claims that NASA was preparing impact scenarios behind closed doors. And still, the question grew louder. Who or what sent the transmission? By September, the final layer of the signal was decoded, and it confirmed humanity's deepest fears. The transmission contained a timeline. It wasn't just orbital data. It carried a countdown. Based on calculations, the sequence suggested a specific window of years when a catastrophic impact could occur. Some estimates pointed to the late 2030s. Others narrowed it to a single date, October 13, 2036. To anyone following space science, that date sounded familiar. It aligned with the long-debated trajectory of a massive asteroid known as Apophis, an object large enough to cause devastation on a global scale if it ever struck Earth. For years, NASA had reassured the public that Apophis was unlikely to collide. But now, here was a signal from deep space mapping out almost the exact same date and impact projection. This was no coincidence. Was 31 AT Atlas a natural rock that somehow transmitted cosmic warnings through unknown physics? Or was it something artificial, perhaps an ancient probe, a beacon left behind by a long-lost intelligence to warn future civilizations of the cycles of destruction written into the cosmos? The truth may be stranger than either possibility. Some theorists argue that what Atlas detected wasn't a signal at all, but rather an automatic distress beacon triggered when a planetary system reaches a certain danger threshold. In other words, the universe itself might be wired with warnings, cosmic alarm bells meant to alert intelligent life when extinction events are near. For now, officials are silent. NASA has denied that any alien message was received, but internal memos suggest they're quietly preparing for multiple scenarios. Private observatories continue to track 31 AT Atlas and the cluster of asteroids connected to the transmission. And so, humanity stands at the edge of knowledge and fear. We wanted to know if we were alone. We wanted to believe the cosmos held answers. But when Atlas picked up that impossible transmission, it may have confirmed what deep down we all feared. That the universe is not only alive with intelligence, but it is also watching, warning, and perhaps counting down to a moment we cannot escape.